In this video I'm just going to show you how to um, generate uh, a much more substantial unique value in your data. So if I just create a new field, data design fields, and we're going to make a much bigger um, random value, so let's just call it random val, or make it a text. We could actually make it um, GUID, but um, we're just going to make it text. We're going to, we're going to store a string which is sort of seriously uh, um, unique. We'll get rid of that one. Um, so it's 255, that's all we need. So that, that's going to store a much bigger um, sort of random value than I used in the last video. So there's random val, it's all null. Calculate field. Okay, so what we're going to do is is you use a um, another import to bring in a module, um, which is called UUID. So random val equals um, get UUID. Um, I've got the brackets there. If, if I wanted to pass something and use that field in, as as part of the process, but I, but I'm, I'm I'm not going to. I'm just returning this um, value. So def get UUID, and then what what you can do here is say my um, string, so my unique val equals. Um, and then it's UUID, that's the module we're, we're looking at. And there's something called UUID 1. Just, just do that. And then return um, a string of that. OK, we're just going to convert that to a string. That's if I spell it correctly, of course. Unique val. There we go, getting there in the end. Let's stick. Press OK, and, and we'll sh show you what's created. Now, you see here, this is seriously. Um, more complex, unique identifier. Um, they are unique at first glance. There's some some sort of similarities there. Now the reason for that, even though this is this is still pr pretty good, uh, it's using the MAC address of the um, uh, PC. So so that that could could be something that compromises um, the, the, the sort of privacy. Um, but there is another function you can use to kind of guarantee because it's not going to use the um, MAC address and that's to change UUID to 4. Just do that and then press OK and now look what you get. You get a pretty serious unique identifier there. Um, lots of digits and um, yeah all good stuff. Anyway, I just thought I'd sort of just show you that if you really, really wanted something um, a lot more complex in terms of a uh, random value. And uh, I hope you find that useful. Thank you.